and today I am back with another video. Now, this is the first one out of my new series, Minecraft, but the world is a lush cave. Now, I've never seen this world before. I only just discovered it in the options for single biome, so let's see. I already know there's gonna be tons of axolotls, but whoa, oh my God. Whoa. Wait, is this just like a giant lush cave? But like, on the surface, this is crazy. Oh my god. Look at all the glow berries and all the moths. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But, once I see one, the axolotl will make it beautiful. Axolotls will spawn here, I'm guessing, right? I wonder what the ocean's like. Maybe I'll discover it in a future episode. But for now, I say we get to doing stuff. Now, my one problem is... I don't see any food. And that's bad. Because food is kind of necessary. Okay, let me go back and get some of those glow berries, but... I hope that's not the only thing that I'm gonna be eating in this series because that is not the best food source, as you can probably tell. See, I have never seen an only Lush Cave world before, but now it makes sense. I mean, like, this is my home. I'm an axolotl. I, I live here. Wow. Best thing to do is see a Lush Cave in real life, like, with all the drip leaves and everything. And I wanna see the glowberries too. I wonder if glowberries in real life taste good or bad. I know sweet berries in real life are like disgusting, but I want to see how glowberries taste. Okay, seriously though, where are those glowberries that I found earlier? There has to be more glowberries somewhere, right? What time is it? Oh, sun's already going down. That's not good. I should probably seek shelter soon. Yeah, so problem is, I don't see any animals, including axolotls, which is very strange. We're literally in a lush cave world, there has to be axolotls and fish. Oh no, I'm about, to, I'm about to lose sprint. No, you have to find food! There, glowberries! I see food! So much good food. Okay, let's go take that. Let's see. Okay. Berries, can you sprint? Oh, I thought they did half a heart and um, half a health. That's actually better. Oh no, but they're still growing. Most of them. Okay, here's another one. What just happened? Hey guys, editing actually here to explain kind of what happens in this next clip. So here it looks like the glowberry glitched out of my inventory. And that's honestly what I thought had happened at first. But apparently I actually placed it, which is why you can see it in the corner of the screen. So if I start going off about how it glitched, um, I'm sorry. I didn't realize at first. What? Bruh. I don't know what weird glitch that was. And good, this one didn't glitch like the last one for whatever reason. There I go again, talking about how it glitched. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh no, how is the sun already there? Okay, we need to get going. Luckily, there's a cave. There seems to be a good cave right down here. Ooh, tons of glowberries. Now that is what I call nice. But, to my luck, there is two endermen. Why is there two endermen? I don't know. But I do not feel like facing them right now, so I'm gonna go to a different cave. Maybe a smaller one. If I'm gonna be going down in the cave, that means mobs, but nighttime also means mobs, so either way, I'm pretty much doomed. Also, if you didn't know, I am a total Minecraft noob. Like, I'm really bad at this stuff. So let's see how far I get. I just realized, how am I supposed to get wood? You, you just realized. 
I'm in a lush, lush cave world. Where do I get wood from? I guess I have to get lucky and find a mine shaft. I wonder how am I supposed to get wood? Can mine shafts even spawn in lush cave worlds? I don't know if it's possible to get wood. What are other ways that I can seek and find wood? Because I can't do anything without wood. And that is definitely not good. Maybe shipwrecks still spawn in the ocean? So I did see an ocean earlier. <gasps> this baby zombie, run! I don't wanna die on the first episode. Here, let me just hide out here for a good second. Okay guys, yeah, so I'm back. I figured out how to hopefully get some food that will involve dying. Or not food, wood. Basically what I need is I need to kill a skeleton for bone meal to bone meal an azalea plant. Which will hopefully, by all means, turn into an azalea tree. Let's punch him. No! 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 Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh no, did I lose all my food? Wait, where are all the mobs? <gasps> Another skeleton. This is my only choice, guys. Luckily this one doesn't have very good aim. I don't want this creeper to come and blow me up, that'd be bad. Get me. Boom. No, I'm stuck, how do I get stuck? How do I, how do I get out? No. Okay. Oh, I got it! Okay, now I have to just go back over here. Where is it? Where did I kill the skeleton? Oh no, don't tell me I spawned in a different place. Oh, here. Yes! Yes! I killed it and I saw bones. Yes, I see bones. Yes! Guys, we might actually get wood. Okay. An azalea here. This might be good. Also, whoever came up with this strategy, genius. Shout out to you. Yes! Wood! So amazing. I can finally kill these mobs easier now. Okay, guys, that... Whoever came up with this strategy, you are a genius. Like, an evil freaking genius. Also, why am I lagging? Oh. Okay, now I can make an axe and I can fight the skeletons easier. I guess first I should get some pick a pickaxe so I can mine some stone. Okay, this is great. And the moon's going down. That's amazing. So, make a crafting table. A good amount of wood that I have here. Make myself a nice little pickaxe. Get the crafting table. I don't want to waste any wood in this world. Just because, I mean, it's harder to get. I see an enderman over there. I don't want to get involved, so. Oh, finally! Some fish! I can't eat it, but fish! That's amazing! This is a hard, surprisingly hard challenge, I will admit. I've never expected it to actually be this challenging to live in a lush cave world. But I think we're doing it. All the mobs are burning now since the sun's coming up. So it's a great time to go over there and kill that skeleton. See, he might lend us a bone. Yes! More bones! Oh, this is amazing! Okay, well, 
At first, I thought this challenge might be a little bit impossible, but it isn't. You just need to think a little bit out of the box. So let me get some stone. I want to try and get as much stone with this axe as, with this pickaxe as possible. Iron, that's great. Now, guys, this challenge it seems easy because it's just I mean it's just a lush cave world, but it's actually surprisingly challenging. Hence the name. So. I'm gonna make him. Oh my god, what am I doing? Let me go ahead and make a stone pickaxe and let me make a couple more sticks. Now let's make stone axe. And bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. We got a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. Now, let me go over here to this lovely vein of iron. How much do we have? Okay, four pieces. I'll take it. Now, let me get a little bit more stone so we can get a furnace. And just some extra, just in case anything happens. Okay, here we go. Now, let's go hunt for more iron. Here's some coal. Oh, one piece of coal. Yeah, so we're just not gonna go that way. Yeah, let's just move back around this way. The okay way. <laughs> that rhymes. Yeah, I don't want to get involved with an Enderman on my first day in this world. So let's just not go that way. I think that's a good idea. Okay. So I think my only- it seems like my only good source of food for now is going to be glowberries until I get a fishing rod. And after I get a fishing rod, I will go fishing. Because fishing seems actually useful since it's the only way to get good food. I don't really want to go down into such a big cave. But there seems to not be any mobs around, so it might as well. Also, can someone tell me why there are so many Endermen in this world? Like, just write down in the comments below. Um, do, do Endermen spawn more in lush caves? I don't know. And so where did my pickaxe go? Don't tell me I just dropped my pickaxe somewhere and I can't find it. Yep, it seems like I dropped my pickaxe somewhere and I can't find it. It's fine. Let me just craft another one. There you go. I hope. Now let me get this coal, because that's going to be useful. While it's daytime, I might as well build me a couple more trees. Might as well just- oh, that one only took one. That is nice. Here, let's get this wood. Azalea trees are so beautiful. The leaves are amazing, and I love them. So guys, we are going to end the video there. Thank you for watching, and I hope that I can continue this series in the future. Bye!